Lifeguards mobilise in the search for a potential translator as Harry's babysits. It's all right. He's so cute. He's got little. No! 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 A little boy has lost his parents on crowded Bondi Beach. Oh, even hand signals. He's he's only so young, and the poor thing's so worked up. He's just. (laughs) He's just hammered me. With sand. <laughs> that's all right. Oh, that's good. He's going to tire himself out. <laughs> Did you give him a drink or anything? Yeah, he, sp- he smashed me when I gave him the drink. Threw it at you? Fuck. Oh, just. Uh, ah. Oh, this is good. He's not a very happy chappy. He's not happy. The lifeguards have found a beach girl that they think can help translate. <laughs> 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 Huh? I can't understand what he's saying. He yeah, come down the tour group and they've they've, they've left. Who knows? Is he going upstairs? He he's he's lost. He like the poor little chap doesn't know what what's yeah. going on. This is good. This is what I like. This is technology. In the tower, Harry's has another smart idea. Anyone there? This one? Hold on, I'm going to try one more time. Ready? Zero, and you go. Which one? But just before the mystery number connects... Oh, great. Thank you very much. No worry. Oh, <laughs> How long in Australia for? How long are you here in Australia for? Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah. And you lost him? Yes. Yeah. He doesn't like the lifeguard, the young bloke. <laughs> Even Harry's couldn't wear his charm on him. <laughs> it turns out Sung Wook is from Korea on a family holiday. As the day winds down, the Christmas cheer continues but it has taken a growing toll. There's plenty of fried skin and more than a few frazzled heads. Thanks. They're sleeping in their, in their vomit, the poor things, um, just making sure they're OK, because if you walk off the beach, it, the beach is actually getting more packed right now and it's massively intoxicated these people. They've been drinking all day and this is where they're going to sleep. They're all backpackers and this is probably the best ensemble you're going to get right now. So he just said, can I sleep for another two hours? And I said, go for it. Just don't go in the water. Whatever you do. <laughs> Next on Bondi Rescue. Paris comes to town as party season erupts on Bondi. What are you doing? <laughs> and the morning after the night before. Are you all right? Then, just when you thought it was safe to get back in the water. Handcuff me, do I care? I push. Tonight on Bondi Rescue. It's party time on Bondi. When the who's who meet the boys in blue. But the hangover isn't pretty. You all right? Hey, you all right, buddy? While the party continues for some, there's mayhem in the water. And 
ugly stains on the sand. Handcuff me. Do I care? No, my bullshit. Take me back to the sweet times. It's New Year's Eve, and the Bondi party season is reaching a crescendo. As the beautiful people are flat out touching up their tans, there's a sudden commotion. The world's most famous party girl is in town. Sensing imminent danger, lifeguards spring into action. Um, Paris Hilton's on at North Bondi. So me and Wiffy are just going to check it out and make sure there's um, no problems going on down there. <laughs> New trainee Dunstan and Whippet selflessly volunteer to protect public safety. <laughs> it's pretty funny seeing Whippet run, run because you only know he's running for one thing. That's normally, you know, to see someone famous. <laughs> I've, never, I've never seen Whippet get out of the town so quick in five years. Ah. kid. The visit has the beach in a frenzy. Now Whippet has a chance to get up close and personal with Paris. Perhaps it's a perfect match. Whippet, normally never short of a word, is speechless. For the old guard like H, Paris is a place, not a person. It's just another day at Bondi. Is that the highlight of your lifeguarding career so far, Donna? Um, yeah, pretty much. I could pretty much retire right now, a happy man. <laughs> I've been a sad life. <laughs> That's a highlight. As Bondi gears up for a massive New Year's Eve dance party, lifeguards brace themselves for what will follow. It'll be a pretty good night, but unfortunately for the those of us who've got to work again tomorrow, it'll be a pretty quiet night, I think. I've worked a couple of New Year's days before, and it, it is always manic, and it is a bit of a concern. You, Really got to go home tonight and think through what could possibly happen in your head and just be on the ball in the morning. Attention all swimmers, the lifeguard service has finished for the day and the year. As you know, we have a big party planned tonight. So please return to shore for your own safety and please leave the beach. Thank you very much. A few hours later, 15,000 revellers descend on Bondi to see in the new year. As New Year's madness continues through the night, party goers from across Sydney spill onto the beach. Before sunrise, five lifeguards are already on alert. Big mail up this morning away about 20 past four this morning, so the yeah, a lot of people on the beach, it's gonna be a hot day for a big one. morning I've seen down here in a long time, everyone's in a good mood, everyone's happy and you yeah, haven't any drama so far, but everyone's in good spirits, eh? 
a couple of years ago we had a complete nightmare. We had, I think we had three or four ambulances before 7 a.m. and compared to that, it's fantastic. Then everyone's like, it's a big crowd, probably a bigger crowd than we had that day, but everyone's in good spirit. And everyone's happy and singing and enjoying themselves. And yeah, it's really good to see. It's a morning when the main thing to expect is the unexpected. Your tackle. <laughs> Go fall in the rough. It's a new year, mate. He's having a good time. Who cares? <laughs> then. News comes through of a hijacking at South End. Get up, power. Go on the ball, mate. Bring it back in. We need that to rescue people, mate. So bring it back in immediately. Thank you. Nose dive. Call a nose dive. Nose dive. Hey, listen. We don't mind having fun in that, right? It's cool. I know, man. Uh, but mate, we need to rescue people. You know, like if you take the board. No, it's cool. Uh, that was a good nose dive, you did, but. No, absolutely. Actually, I wasn't expecting that surf right there. Yeah, well, the I'm from California. Good. Yeah, I know. You can yeah. tell. We body surf all the all the time there, and that. Yeah, that's cool. We're all right. We weren't expecting that thick of a board. Mate, you know what? The nose dive was good. You might want to get some board shots too. It's pretty stupid. You know, five minutes later, we need to rescue someone. We got no board. You know, like I mean, they're having fun, but that was stupid. Attention, those swimmers out there. Just a reminder that conditions are dangerous here. So please stay close to shore. You've all probably had a little bit to drink, so just remember that and stay close to shore at all times. Drunk or drug-affected